Hey folks, my name is Kurt Berg. Uh, I am the founder of Roots for Strength. Um, the way the uh, company got its name is I uh, was born here in Johnson County. I'm a huge fan of root vegetables, you know, carrots, uh, sweet potatoes, things like that. I've been eating my whole life, um, uh, turnips, all those things. So I'm a big fan of root vegetables, but more important than that, uh, I know that the source of strength and joy and where you need to stay grounded and rooted is in the Word of God. And so the, best, the company is based on that. I try to make sure my roots are in Christ, which is the Word. So uh, I want to try to live a life and engage in activities and businesses, always with the constant reminder that my foundation is, is the Word of God and what Jesus would want me to do. Um, this is not always easy to know what that is, but it's certainly worthy of our time uh, I think to to just look into who is God, um, what does truth mean, all these things are really important. So as a business, Roots for Strength engages in business consulting. We do uh, all types of IT consulting. Uh, we work as a meat brokerage, so that's you know getting uh, products from point A to point B, working out logistics and planning with that. Uh, we do uh, local delivery, so we offer a lot of local North Carolina products that can be delivered right to your household. Generally, it's me. And my son will come bring him to you. Uh, he's three, so right now, so he likes to likes to ride along with me sometimes when we can. Um, and then uh, we also can ship products all over the country. So if you're looking for some really cool gift options or something to send to somebody, whether it's their birthday or Christmas or whatever, uh, we offer some some uh, really cool options for that that you might like as well. Uh, but as a business, we do that. Uh, we do take uh, a a portion of the proceeds and we put it into giving back to the community. Um, well, most of this comes in the form of us, our food. So, uh, because that's, that's what the business uh, is engaged in is, is food sales in some, some way. Um, I also work with uh, Blake Gottliff, an outstanding chef at Under the Oak Restaurant and Catering, which is in Smithfield, but he is literally the best chef I've ever met. Um, I'm not a too bad of a cook, but, you know, he definitely got me beat, I think. But we'll get together sometimes and put together some, uh, you know, some side dishes and some meals. I do a lot of turkeys and hams. Um, he does really good mac and cheese, though. Me and him are kind of competing on the mac and cheese. You know, I like to do like a smoked jalapeno cheddar, and he just does like a basic mac and cheese. But, you know, you can decide whichever one you, you like. But we put those meals together, and then we try to um, get them to folks that need them. And uh, I, I get lists from individuals that call and say, hey, will you help this family or that family? They could use a meal. We go take it to them. Also, if folks want to uh, help donate uh, um, for a meal, they can. Uh, we're going to do donations anyway, but sometimes this helps us give more than I normally could by myself. So, like, I'm going to be limited on how much I can give by myself. But if you know somebody or you want to help out at all, you can always um, kind of purchase a meal as a donation and let me know where you want it to go. And if you don't have a specific plan where you want it to go, I promise there's there's plenty of folks I know that would be uh, more than happy to have a good meal sometimes. So I think sometimes just getting somebody a good kind of home-cooked meal that they can heat up at their leisure um, maybe takes a little bit of stress out of their life. It also gives an opportunity um, for me to just meet them, and they can, they can learn about this company, what we do. And if they want to talk, I'm here and available. Um, they don't want to talk to me, but they want to talk to maybe somebody else. I try to work that out too. But um, I love talking to folks about God and searching his word and kind of seeing what he wants us to do with our lives. I am not um, out to get people into a specific church. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, if, if we're part of the, the mission that we're working on outside of the business, I am, I'm just here for support and prayer and encouragement. Um, I do... Uh, like to work with I Choose Pregnancy. Uh, I have a huge heart for this ministry. I think choosing life is extremely important, and there's not enough folks out there uh, that are that are sharing this message. And um, if you are blessed uh, as a woman with with being able to be pregnant and and be and you're carrying a child and you're trying to determine what to do. And, you know, you're, you're probably uh, conflicted if it's an unplanned pregnancy. There's all types of questions you're going to have. Hey, this maybe wasn't the person I thought I'd marry. I didn't think this would happen now. What am I going to do? Uh, this is not going to work out well for my life at this stage in my life. I really wanted to have a baby later. 
or maybe don't. You never know. There's all kinds of questions that come up. But right now, you're in a position where you have a life inside of you and you have a choice to make. And I think it's fair for you to know both sides. You have you have two choices you can make. And uh, choosing life, um, I think, will be the best possible decision you can make. And you'll know this as soon as you put your hands and hold that baby and look at him. And even if you're at a stage where you're not sure you could take care of him, uh, I, I will try to help as best I can. Folks that I choose pregnancy try to offer a path to help with this too. But there are things thousands of people out there who are not able to have children that will love to have your children. There is no such thing as an unwanted child. There's no such thing as an unwanted child. There's always a house that will be filled with love for that child. So I'm, I'm just about begging you, if you're in a situation where you find yourself pregnant and you're not sure what to do, choose life. It'll be one of the best decisions you'll ever make. Uh, I'm, I'm here to talk to you about it. Uh, also, I'm, I'm not here to judge you. Uh, I don't, I don't want to tell you, oh gosh, you're making the wrong choice. I, look, if you want to talk about it, you need a sounding board, I'm here. All right, you can contact me at kbird at rootsforstrength.com. That's K-B-Y-R-D at rootsforstrength.com. Uh, you can also contact me through the website. Uh, and you can also text me. Uh, you can call me. My number is 919-210-6400. Nine, nine. A lot of folks don't give out their personal number online because they get all types of spam. I'm going to get those calls anyway. If you want to get up with me, I want you to be able to. So please don't hesitate. You can text me. Um, you can email me. Uh, and just let me know. Myself um, or my wife, Rachel, will be will be glad to talk to you. Um, and can connect you with some really great people at I Choose Pregnancy as well. Um, but that's kind of... Uh, the, the bulk of the business and, and the ministry, but uh, if you got any questions, please just let me know. I'd be glad to help.